Argyle's back in Halo Infinite, but people are still not quite happy with it. And I want to go into this video why everyone's talking about this map. So if you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help support the video and channel. If you want to know why Argyle is such a hot topic within the Halo community, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, Argyle is back in Halo Infinite saying that the multiplayer map Argyle has returned to various matchmaking playlists. So not all of them, but most of them. They also do state saying, if you are experiencing issues while playing on the new version of Argyle, submit a ticket. So there might be something kind of lingering out there that could cause some issues while playing. Now, Argyle has been causing a little bit of issues when it comes to ever since the launch of it within the winter update. And the reason why they even took it out in the first place here is because, well, it was causing crashes as they stated previously and they didn't really state anything about when it would return but just kind of today they just started to mention like oh yeah now it's back which is fantastic glad to see that the map is back in rotation it was one of the things i'm looking forward to playing i actually haven't had a chance to play on it but from what i've been reading about people's reactions to the map well it's not exactly favorable people have gone as far as saying that it's like playing fiesta in ranked halo which is not what you want to have in your ranked game modes right here spartan a pro player for the phase clan over here talked about the different spawns around the map saying argyle has four commando spawns which got a buff only two battle rifle spawns two pulse carbines disruptors grapples bulldogs snipers needlers fusion coils and repulsor and a camo that's a lot. And he says esports ready as being very sarcastic in that one. And I'm looking through this, I'm like, yeah, for the range version, that is a lot of uh, toys to play around, I guess is the way to say it within Halo Infinite. Now, when I'm reading this, uh, it definitely concerns me quite a bit because that's just a lot of stuff and a lot of variation to the gameplay, which obviously you do want to have variety when you're playing the game, but you don't want everything to be randomized, at least what it kind of feels like. And I can see with that much stuff on the map that it could really feel like playing Fiesta in Halo, which is something you, you don't obviously can be good uh, in certain conditions, but for ranked, yeah, you definitely don't want that happening. Another player calls for Argyle to be removed from the rotation, especially for Tactical Slayer, as it's incredibly annoying to spawn and instantly die. This is the same kind of issue that we had previously when it came to the map Behemoth, where that one had to be removed from Tactical Slayer, which I 100% agreed with that one because Behemoth on Tactical Slayer before Forge was available was like a total pain, especially with a hit scanned battle rifle with just laser beaming people across the map. It was pretty easy. That map definitely needed more cover and they couldn't really provide it because Forge well, wasn't really available. Maybe with the Forge beta out now, we could see some maps being updated for specific modes so they can function better to provide a little bit more variety for us to play Halo Infinite, which has been the biggest issue of the game, just not having enough content, enough new things to do. Though so bringing it back around to Argyle, there have been issues that have been pointed out with this map, which is very odd. First one here is by Shyway, showcasing how he broke the lift, basically. Once you've gone up it, you're kind of stuck. What you can do, and I personally think this is kind of game... Oh. What the heck? Whoa, wait. <laughs> I don't know what I did. And every time I clamber, if I clamber cancel, by pulling back on the left stick, the moment the clamber animation starts then I can throw myself back down without revealing my head. Obviously, things are new and people are kind of figuring out how to play the map, though I do think 343 does need to take a hard look at Argyle to decide what they really want to accomplish with that map. Because everything I'm seeing online is either people are not enjoying the map, it's too big, the sandbox is a little too crazy, and it's pretty easy to break as well. So we might not see Argyle too long in the ranked system. Now we do know that the Pit remake is going to be coming into Halo Infinite, especially in ranked mode, uh, before the end of December. So we'll keep you guys up to date whenever that happens. With the recent update, Halo Infinite's population has actually bloomed up quite a bit, right up there with like games like Destiny, but there are some certainly big issues when it comes to Forge. If you guys want to know more about that check out this video right here thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one peace out